The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester City, they face Manchester United and it's live on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Emerson begins in goal. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Jack Grealish plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. The lineup for Manchester United. Casemiro plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And up front to oh, Derek, quick moment here. Watching him. Foden. Teammates to play it to. Decides to shoot. A tremendous block. <laughs> Playing it in. You can't really hit them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Well, what a chance to take the lead, and doesn't Pep Guardiola know it? But will they get a better one than that? And there's the delivery. Was it a great clearance? Kovacic. Determined defending. Christian Eriksen now. But it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, four goals in his last three appearances says it all, doesn't it, Derek? He's been absolutely outstanding. He's taken the chances to come his way, and he looks a real threat every time he gets the ball. Well, this is looking promising. Shaping to shoot. Trying to deliver it accurately. And they scored! First goal in this season's UEFA Champions League final. Well, let's look at this again. That's a decent delivery into the box. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which has made it look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players refocused now. So on they go again. And that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Anthony. Oh, good play, this. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Well, it came to nothing in the end. He's going forward well here. This could square the game. Oh, but no! Heroism flashed in front of his eyes. Couldn't take the chance. Well, I think that's a poor miss. They really should be level now. Will they come to regret that?
can he do with it now? Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Foden. The referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And there it is! A two-goal cushion now! And just look at these fans! A trophy coming their way, surely! Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. United move in the making. For now, can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity, and momentum is with them. Well, just watch this again. Look how Fernandez beats his man, and then it's a top class strike from Fernandez. His technique is absolutely spot on. Just look at the power he generates here. Start playing again here. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Great vision to switch the play. Mateo Kovacic. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. And the referee making it clear on a different day. It could have been a booking. Ake. Mateo Kovacic. And Grealish. Sloppy in possession from City. United might be able to cash in. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Diogo Dano. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. 
Casemiro. And return to Fernandes. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. And the referee's whistle. That will conclude the first half here at Wembley. So back underway here, into the second half. Foden. On to Holland. Look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Alessandro Martinez. Oh, the ball back with City here. Oh, good vision. And he's made the run. But it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper. And that question has been answered. Well, I'm all for Flair striking through the back of the ball with power. But he has to hit the target from there. Well, he can't believe his side haven't taken the lead there. That was a big chance. to ease the pressure it's a promising city move but the danger averted for now counter attacking chance advantage Manchester United can they profit from this Rashford well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Alvarez. Foden. Can he put them in front? Look like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. 30 minutes to go then. Well, as you can see, this has been a fairly open contest. Chances at both ends, plenty of good attack in play, and it's been really entertaining. And the players waiting in the centre. Oh, a tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Stoppage in play and a chance for the referee to go back and retrospectively hand out a yellow card. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. The next to go short. Pulls it back. Opportunity to go ahead. Splendid defending. Short corner it is. Command. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Rashford. Martial. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Foden. City being afforded too much room. And on 
options in the centre. Oh, last ditch defending at its very finest. Keep possession of it now. Given away by City. United finding space on the wing. Really good build up, but no end product. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. To put them ahead. Deciding to go short with this one. And he loves drifting in off the flank. Alvarez. Hold on. Oh, a goal! As they forge ahead on this massive occasion, feel the passion. to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. Walker. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose towards Bernardo Silva. Ake. Here's Alvarez. Can he play it in? to push that away from danger. Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes has it. Manchester United know they've got to get on the front foot with time, the enemy. Routine for Everson. Foden. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. That's 
4-2. Lindelof. Well, that's good defending. Well organised up the back. And there it is! Full-time Manchester City Champions League winner. Just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. But what an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. The Champions League victors, Manchester City.